Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and CurrentEdities.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic and categorical syllogisms, looking at rule number three in our rules for categorical syllogisms. If you haven't checked out rules one and two, you might want to do that. With that out of the way, let's get started on rule three. So rule three is going to be at least one of the premises must be affirmative. This is important because if we have two negative premises, and we're trying to draw any kind of conclusion, it's not really going to work. Because we're saying there's not a relationship between S and M, and there's not a relationship between M and P. So we're not even going to be able to say anything about the relationship between S and P. At least one of the S or P has to have some kind of relationship, some positive affirmative relationship with M. We can also see that if we look at all of the valid moods, we're not talking about figures, we're just talking about the moods right now, there's only 11 of them, we see that in all of these, there is at least one affirmative premise that I have highlighted in red. We can also look at this in terms of all of the possible arguments. When we add rule one, we get to here. With rule two, we get to here. With rule three, we get to here. We are almost down to only the unconditionally and conditionally valid arguments. With rule four, we will get down to those, and rule five will split us up between the conditionally valid and the unconditionally valid. That was rule three. Next up is rule four, followed by rule five. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.